This video will show you how to make a simple request to the Ad Manager API using Google's client library for Java. This video assumes you've already set up a service account on your Ad Manager network and that you have a basic familiarity with Java and Maven. Navigate your browser to the Google Ads Java Lib. At the path shown here, you'll find a file called ads.properties. The client library for Java expects to find this configuration file in your home directory. Click the RAW button in GitHub and save this file to your home directory as a template. If you're on a Windows machine, this will be C colon backslash users backslash your username. Also, be sure that the file has the right extension, dot properties. Next, open the ads.property file in a text editor. First, you'll need to enter an application name. This is a string that will be sent to Google with every request and should identify your application. It's important that your application name be unique and descriptive since it can help Google identify requests coming from your application. This can make it easier for us to provide you with support later on. You'll also need to enter your network code and, finally, the path to the key file that you downloaded in the OAuth video. Be sure to save your changes to this configuration file. We're almost ready to start writing Java code. Open up your development environment and create a new Maven project. In this example, I'm using the Free IntelliJ Community IDE. Give your project a group ID and call the artifact ID something like Add Manager Test. Now add the required dependencies to the pom.xml file. First, add the common artifact called ads-lib. It's in the group com.google.api-ads. Be sure to pin the version by entering the most recent release number from GitHub. Next, add the Ad Manager specific artifact. For historical reasons, it's called DFP Axis. It's in the same group as the last dependency. Again, pin the version using the same version we used previously. That's it for dependencies, so now create a new class in the package. Name the class Ad Manager Test just like the jar. First, add a main method so you can directly execute this class. While it's not a best practice, you can throw the generic exception type here. In a production system, you should have more robust error handling. In the main method, you need to retrieve a credential object. Use the offline credentials builder to do this. Notice that IntelliJ is automatically including the import statements. These are required to run the example. Then, use the for API method and specify add manager as the API. Next, use the from file method to access the ads.properties file that you created in your home directory. Finally, call build and generate credential to retrieve the credential object. Next, create an add manager session instance with the add manager session builder. Call from file again to get your network code and application name. Then, call with OAuth2 credential and pass in the credentials from the previous step. Finally, call build to generate the session. Now, create a new Ad Manager Services instance. This is a factory that can create instances for any Ad Manager service. These three things are all we need to start making requests to the Ad Manager API. In this example, we're going to get some details about the network associated with this service account. So first, we will need to get a reference to the network service. Notice that the version of the API is specified in the import path of the network service interface. Let's select the latest version. Then use the get method of the services instance, passing in the session and the class type of the service you want to access. With this, we can make a call to the Ad Manager API. On the network service, let's call get current network. It's important to point out that this method is what's actually making a request to the Ad Manager API, and it returns an instance of type network representing the API response object. All that's left to do now is to print out some information from the response. Let's show the network's display name and the network code. All Ad Manager entity types have getters and setters that correspond to the attributes in the documentation. Let's build and run this class to see what the results are.
As you can see, it has printed out the data it retrieved from the Ad Manager network. And that's it. You are now up and running with the Ad Manager API using Google's client library for Java.